Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator. I'm in uh, the middle of nowhere in Northern California. I'm over from Ukiah as you can see on the uh, uh, GPS. Uh, but if you go to that bitumen job over there and there's no job there again. Uh, but I was driving by here and f flying around and I found this uh, spot. There's a bitumen job here you know the construct piece of construction equipment you pick up by the road but this little road next to the I-5 that's the I-5 over there in northern California you can see Ukiah is a crop duster uh, base and it's really cool I thought it was worth showing you and he'll come in and do touch and goes over and over and there's three crop dusters or old biplanes here in uh park which is pretty dang cool little thing off the beaten path a flock of birds over there going down this road that way is a crop duster that's actually doing circles and going in low and there's no uh, spray coming out but he's flying low over a field uh, just like he would do and he goes around again so a lot of crop dusters oh we got some wind turbines over there yeah I'm in another version of the Argosy because I love it it's a cool truck looking for a job and I just thought I'd uh, show you some of the, I stopped and looked at some some horses by the side of the road and they have such long uh, animations you can't even if even watch one and I think that's great even watch one you can't see his animation repeat like every two seconds you know it's like a one minute animation it's long enough to fool you certainly if you were driving by say so he's doing another touch and go it's stuff like this you gotta <coughs> really is cool and this is a little road that goes along and then goes over to the I-5. Uh, the other crop duster was over here. See, he's going around for another touch and go. Uh, you hit an invisible wall right there. I tried driving onto their uh, airfield. Uh, so, from here. See that car stopped there before. Down here, Cop Duster is actually uh, going around and doing the field. I was over in Oakdale, Stockton area. Oh, uh, here he is. I think he's doing this field. Let's check him out. And another Cop Duster in the distance. He's got the uh, tubes on the bottom of his wings, but no spray comes out. And there's a little rest area here. You see San Rafael on the GPS there? I'll show you where it is on the map real good in a second here. He's going to go low and spray the field watch. And another one further down. baseball field with a playground so this is a rather long road a little road off the beaten path here's the I-5 uh, you can't even get to this rest area that's just scenery look at that under construction 
what's he doing? Cleaning it. He's sweeping a dirt parking lot. Okie doke. Two of you. Well, if you got nothing better to do. Oh, they're all over here getting ice cream. <laughs> look at these guys got the exact same crossed arms and leaning look animation. Did they even have a guy in there? I never noticed that. So, you guys are really got my uh, my best wishes. I don't know what to say. Here he comes again. Uh, super kudos on this kind of stuff. I know there's the Grand Canyon and it, but this kind of <coughs> roadside scenery um, I mean they don't even have to do that or they could do it a lot less uh, you know detailed but uh Even up close, the plane's, plane's pretty detailed. They could have put a prop on it. The radial engines look, eh, not bad. Pretty good. He's got the tubes on the wing. He's got the tubes on the wing. Oh, he does. Yeah, they're all crop dusters. What else would they be out here, huh? And back to the Argosy. Yeah, watch. Stop. Can't go. I'll show you where we are. Uh, above Sacramento, right over from Uka Ukiah, Ukiah, I don't know. Down from Redding, right there. Closer. They call if you take that job there, they call it Sacramento. So it must be a little closer to there. There's the I-5 through Northern California. It's a bitumen job on a little road right next to the I-5. Right over from Ukiah, I'd say, is probably the easiest way to find it. A little road next to the I-5 is right over from Ukiah. Ukiah. Okay, got a good look beautiful Argus here. This is another paint job. I think it's by Lucas. I don't know. He makes a lot of them. This has the Argus -y tanks now along with the new paint job. I guess they have their own certain kind of tanks. And I found lights on the back side of the cab extension. Uh, Rex the dog is still with me. I changed the pipes to a 90 degree and the fenders from complete coverage to these little quarter chrome ones, half chrome ones. And I took off the chassis covers because it gives me mud flaps and a uh, look I like a little better. So I changed it up, still 725 horsepower, still the full cab cover. Um, Rexy boy is still here. Double decker. Got speakers. TV. Guy on top get no TV? Oh well. Take turns. Isn't that marvelous? Air conditioning vans. Nice padding. Super detailed. Harvin, Lucas I, and uh, Trey something? Some, a couple other guys. Sorry. CB lights, sunroofs, lots of windows, lots of choices for the seat, and uh, nothing for the window except those dumb curtains and uh, some telepaths and stuff. Didn't have the drinks and stuff. I think I took out, I think I had too many uh, interior packs. So, so this is my one view. I can see the whole wheel and almost all the way over to the other side, but the mirror's not in view. That's crazy, and I got the seat all the way back. Anyways, I want to show you that. Still no job there. Let's try tomorrow. Set, 
don't start raining either. Yeah, it always does that. Hey, there's a job. So it's the same thing for weather. G set weather. I choose 4F. That's uh, even numbers are sunny and F is immediately. So that's all I had to remember. I read through all that. I there. You can set it differently to, uh, you know, change weather uh, in 20 minutes. Uh, I just go instant and sunny. Uh, it's a roller. How far is it? Don't be a thousand miles. 827 to Idaho Falls, Idaho. Yeah, it's not heavy. Those are high value. Idaho, huh? 800 miles? It can be a long video. I don't mind it driving this Argosy, man. No horns with this roof. And no lights, just on that sun strip. This is the chrome strip. They have an amber strip. They have some metal ones that I had on before. Twenty-two thousand pounds <coughs> versus seven hundred twenty-five horsepower. I think I left the thirteen speed in there. I was going to change that. Let's see how the eighteen did. So you can see where we are. That's the biggest view I can give you. Here he comes. One last uh, touch and go. Cool. Super cool. Certainly more scenic than uh, the highways. A big Bushnell farm. That looks good. You get a job there. Beautiful, the horses. What did I tell you about them? They look beautiful even up close. I zoomed right in on them. They don't have uh, just like the same, you know, two second animation. They run around, they, they paw at the ground, they graze, they, they move, they walk around in a circle. These guys seem to have a different animation than the ones I was looking at in Oakdale. You, you might care less about this. I'm going to look at the horses for a second. I think these have sec a different uh, animation. They're not moving around. The other ones are running. And some of them were grazing. And, and some of them were going in. A, they'd go in a big circle over back by their uh, their stalls and, and around the field they were in. I really think that kind of stuff is awesome. Yeah, I like trucks. I'm a scenery freak for scenery and uh, detail. Uh, AI.
decoding that, man, you know, and that's all over the map, every town and stuff. That's, talk about time consuming, some guy's plunking that out. Just so you can drive by at 60 and glance over for half a second, maybe. Maybe you don't even notice it. Not such good brakes. They got some round tanks I like too, also with the steps on them. I changed the wheels. It's enough to keep you busy for a lot of runs using this. Different paints and pipes and grills. I think there's four bull bars. There's a lot of lights on the front. I didn't put all of them on as capable of. You can do it just a flat top. There's another top that's smaller. You can have horns then. Even when I beep the horn, it doesn't beep. There's, so there's no built-in horn other than the air horn. So with this top, you have no air horn. No horn. If you need a horn, you don't get this top. I have course to coast to coast installed and uh, this isn't coast to coast and you can go right through Hornbrook where you used to stop right into Oregon and on up to Washington if you want to okay we're gonna go north we're gonna turn east 795 miles Guys like to stop it on ramps. We just call that lucky because I just blasted right through. Didn't look. Argosy, beautiful. like these little roads. That'll ruin your your time on your trip. Thirty seven miles an hour, yeah. Oh, they just slowed down to slow me and then they take off. Now they're going to go. Thanks. Guy told me to drive with the mouse and I was like, no, I tried that. No, I tried with the controller. I have a wheel. I don't want to go through all the pain to set it up and then it takes up your whole desk and you got to move your keyboard over to the side desk or something. This isn't all I play, you know. Well, we're waiting on Oregon. Batch. I play another game that got a a big update and then subsistence. I, I can't recommend it, I, especially now. I just the devs don't, 
Alter. You know, you see a lot of reviews, people are just like had it with what the devs have done to the game. They don't listen to feedback even though they have uh, the boards. Once in a while they get something somebody wants and then well when they do then people complain about it. I've seen that too. But they, they just go their own way. It's, it's crazy. You never even thought about it. Nobody asked for it. Or they take something away or change something. They're like why did you do that? The last update was just a map expansion. Yeah, so I walked around more rocks and trees and yip de doo Man, I should have I should have routed myself around this. If they wouldn't have put a two slow pokes in front of me. This is not good. Passing on a blind corner, not good. Yep. And it's a... No, it's not a cop. That car with the sunroof always makes me think it's a cop. They make nice horses and cows, why don't they make a deer? They got a deer crossing sign. Do they make a deer? I've never seen one. They could hit it. I mean, not that I want to run into deer, but it could be a possibility of, you know, that on these roads.
That bus ahead of us is just boogie, huh? Well, oh, he's on a, a rail, man. He could. He doesn't weigh anything, you know. Okay, Nevada. We gotta cross Nevada. Nevada has a lot of these little roads. This is off ramp and then a loop de loop. Okay. Reno. I got a garage here. I think I finally filled it out with drivers. Last garage I bought was Orlando. I've got two small, six large, and 30 drivers, including me. Damn you. push back the ETA like an hour. It's 
go time. was 80, it just changed to 70. Now it's back to 80. Make up your mind. Because that tells me how fast I can go, you know. I don't want to hit a, a sharp corner on the freeway doing 80 that's not designed for, you know, taking it 80. Guardrail right on the side of the road, in a curve, damn bus. You have to throw all that at me at once? God, this stuff's right on the road. That's even worse. That's right on the side of the road. Whoa. You okay over there, boy? There is another one. Hold on, buddy. Good boy. Bacon bites when we get there. Yeah, ah, blind corner kind of set me up with a random event. I ran into a random event the other day making a video. I, I left it in there too. 93 miles an hour into a, uh, uh, an SUV. Looked like an expedition. 91 and 93 miles an hour right into it. And I was on the brakes too. I was, I was hauling booty. It was with this. It was with the Argosy. With another setup and paint. like 23% damage. The poor expedition was behind another 18-wheeler and I hit him. Turned him sideways, put it, pushed him up in the air. It was a white one just like this thing coming up. No, that's the Escalade. This was the Expedition, you can tell. I looked close at the Ford pickup. It says Frog on the back tailgate. So they're not, uh, you know, 
what they look like actually they're just supposed to look like an Escalade supposed to look like a Ford truck you know they're very obviously very close to uh, what they actually look like but I guess they can't get them on for a fee This is SCS, the uh, road and scenery, man. Awfully rough through here. I don't know what road this is. I'm not, I don't remember it. I've driven it, it says. I want to see where I'm at. Hold on. Because all of... Um, Nevada is terrible little two lanes this is the one other than that freeway through Las Vegas this is the only other freeway what is it the 80 okay that was terrible little two lane oh okay so it's not all but the rest are I never I don't remember the last time I came in across this way McDermott was added by the coast to coast guys that was uh that was not in the uh, original maps and uh, Clayton and the edge of New Mexico right there okay sorry there's another off the time now they got on the freeway and it's 80 miles an hour One bumpy f freeway. Damn guardrail, or now it's cement wall right on the edge of the left lane.
Hard to make a buck, man. God, that cement wall is right on the yellow line. They just don't do that, man. guy's gonna pull over a watch right when I go by. Don't do it. Oh, you're squeezing me down to one lane. Damn it. Oh, that's just an on-ramp. Good. Boy, they gave, gave him a decent on-ramp there. Look at his van speeding up. Wants to mess with me. No, 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 no. Damn AI, man. What are you setting me up for up here? They're setting me up behind this truck and I can't get over. I can sense it when they're setting me up now. Slow in the fast lane so you pass him, then he speeds up. This is too much traffic. They're setting me up. The AI is setting me up for something here. I got a turn they want to make me miss or something. Yeah, I got to get off up here and turn. You hear that grindy clicking when you first start off? I don't know what that is. I got to go 30 through here, small town. Now the rest is going to tell me this is going to be 300 miles of little two lanes round and round through small towns, 30 miles an hour. This is the Nevada I'm most used to. That's how long it's <coughs> been since I drove that 80 across the uh, top, east to west, west to east. Oh, here's Jackpot. I know that's way north in Nevada. If they see another vehicle coming, they'll stop. They'll pass, but they'll stop. Like that. 
stupid damn AI. Get out of the damn way. Okay, we had to uh, reload, and we're on our way again. Two percent cab cab damage, no trailer damage. Can't have no trailer damage. Their AI got me. They get, they're sent to seek and destroy, and uh, he got me. And he then he drove, tried to drive away from the accident. He drives into the trailer and damages that. No. Coast to coast don't pay crap to begin with. I'm like, and, uh, trailer takes XP too. And a lot of money. Okay, your AI is completely jerkified. And you're a jerk programmer, you little nerd. Look at this. Just stop in front of me at a green light. Go and then stop. It's hard to piss me off with this AI crap. white station wagon from the 70s. High Twin Falls, Black Twin Falls. Sure, boss. Why not? to stop and of course somebody's always coming no on-ramp 10 feet on-ramp interference and AI coming we made it maybe we'll have another 60 seconds without the AI seeking to destroy me and coming out of nowhere to stop slow down cut me off or run into me I've had them run red lights. I totally run a red light and run into my trailer. I want to damage your trailer. That costs you XP, man. Why developers and programmers got to be hate, man? Why they got to be haters? Program crap to piss you off and screw you up so much, so often, so badly.
are they giggling about it or are they they hate their players who are paying them I don't get it you know just make the game man okay there can be some random events it can be a stupid driver once in a while but not you know 100% of the time Anytime it's gotten so bad, anytime I see any traffic going the same direction as me, I will start looking at the GPS. So I got a turn coming. What are they going to do? How are they going to set me off? You know, are they going to slam on the brakes? They're going to cut into my lane. They're going to go slow and then drive into me when I go around them. What are they going to? You know, what's going to happen? What are they going to do? They got all uh, prepared for sudden. Uh, moves to avoid it. Coast to coast don't don't pay crap and it affects the whole game even if you're not driving in coast to coast. They hack the uh, the pay and XP scale. Well, they just like cut it in half. So you're gonna make like half or less in some cases. I always complain about that. So coast to coast, I hope you get the hint. It's not the money I care about, you know, so much. It's the XP. I didn't let it bother me at first. I'm like, hmm, they're not, man, they don't pay like half. And then I thought, you know what? You're losing levels. You're working just as hard, if not harder. And they got some long drives, man, with the whole country. And you're getting paid like half XP. What level would you be? I got to thinking, what level would I be if they hadn't uh, jacked with that? like four or five levels this should make me level 53 for sure and I've calculated I'm at least four levels behind playing coast to coast and I kind of resent it what are they doing up here I see them. lights come on that's not brake lights is it I guess they screw with you the worst in the last hundred and two hundred miles rain and traffic and random events and everything and just throw everything at you. I could, I'm not going to be doing any of those cross country drives. I just could. That's 3,200 miles. I think I did a 20, I did it do a 2200 mile drive. Did it straight through at one time, it was like four hours. I was sitting at the desk driving. That's like half a day. I don't really doubt many people have time for that. You could quit and save it, do a little bit, a little bit. But remember, you're getting half pay and half uh, XP working your butt off in coast to coast. So you got to be a higher level where you don't care about money and you can don't let that bother you. You're not ranking up anymore. I mean, but it's it's bugging me.
should be dark by 9.30, man. Idaho Falls, you made it. That was a nice drive, except for their AI and their attacking and setting me up. And these walls and guardrails right on the left lane. fence right on the road. A white picket fence. Like farmland fence. A lot of heavy equipment moving through here. See that? Well, there is something to Idaho Falls. They have a little downtown and some scenery. Okay. Casino? Okay. parking. You hungry boy? You need a drink of water? You haven't closed your mouth the whole ride. You sleeping up top tonight? I call the bottom. Dogs don't watch TV. Well, mine does sometimes. You're, you're stupid. I know that's going to be stupid. Look at this. Yeah, and what's over there? What's over there I gotta park on? No, I'm in no mood for this. Hear that? Sounds like Predator. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Outside the line, I don't like that. Oh, it's okay. I'm giving you a break. You can be on the line. Roller delivered. Argosy, Idaho Falls. Pay me. Going over to the casino, get, hit the free buffet. Made it. That's the one. That's not enough. Pay is sick. Anyways, I don't need levels for anything, you know, to unlock anything more. I haven't for quite a while. Don't need money, but I'm actually losing levels. You know what I mean? Anyways, we got to drive the Argosy again. What a beauty. There you go. Let's get the dog uh, a bone and uh, go get a steak and a beer, man. Idaho Falls, woo, party town.
<laughs> I gotta see y'all on the flip side over and out. No horn, sorry, bye.